The Honorable President of India, Mr. Pranam Mukherjee, Director of National Police Academy, Mr. V. N. Rai, all dignitaries present, and my dear colleagues. It was 19th December 2012 when I first saw my alma mater, an imposing gate with Sardar Vallabhai Patel National Police Academy inscribed on it. The imposing gate notwithstanding, it was something else that really caught my attention. And that was the motto of the Academy, sensitize police for empowered society. That's when I realized that the journey I was embarking upon would be full of new and interesting learnings, learnings culminating into a life-changing experience, which indeed it was. The training offered us a plethora of experiences, things that were never done before, venturing into territories that were, that were hitherto unknown to the National Police Academy, including staging of a Hindi play by officer trainees in the Hyderabad city. Newer and innovative modules were introduced as part of the indoor training program to bring out the real meaning of the motto of the academy. These included, as Anna rightly mentioned, various seminars and lectures by eminent scholars and the field visits which further exposed us to the existing realities. The idea of rights-based policing was ingrained in us through all this. An important addition to our training was the model police station wherein we were required to stay for 24 hours in the police station and were exposed to its workings. It's during such sessions that we came up with new ideas to make the functioning of police stations even better. It thus prepared us to be better leaders of the police station, which is the basic unit of policing and the interface between the police and the public. Strategic, strategy and tactics was another core area of our training. The changed societal and security scenario calls for a more professional police which is able to look at things in a more structured fashion and plan more efficiently. Strategy and tactics are important not only when we plan an operation, sir, but also in the way we look at life in general, the vision we frame for our policing system and the way we go ahead to achieve that vision. There was an emphasis on democratization and Reg uh, than regimentation. And Kula Manj, as uh, rightly mentioned by Anna, which we had every Friday afternoon where we were allowed to air our opinions on any issue, including our decision, dissensions, which were always taken a note of. This strengthened the sense of democratic leadership in us. So as we get ready to face the real world, I cannot help but remember the first address of the director where he asked us a simple question. What is the difference between humans and animals? An obvious answer to a simple question, but at times we tend to forget the difference. Therefore, we not only need to know the difference, but to internalize it. Only then can we truly have an empowered society. And it is upon us to create such a society where the police gets the respect it would rightly earn, where human rights are honored, and only then would we awake into that heaven of freedom which our founding fathers visualized for us. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Now, I request the Honorable President of India to kindly accept a memento from Director Sadar Vallabhai Patel National Police Academy as a token of our respect and gratitude. Now, I request the Honorable President of India to kindly uh, say a few words to encourage the young IPS officer trainees. Sri B. N. Rai, Director, other senior directing staff of Sardar Ballo Bhai Patel, National Police Academy, trainees, young officers, it gives me great pleasure to meet you, particularly the young officer trainees of the Indian Police Service who are at the threshold of a long 
and challenging career. First of all, I would like to congratulate all of you for your success in a very difficult competitive examination. It speaks of your academic excellence and also of your mental faculty. Now you are members of the IPS, which along with the Indian Administrative Service, Indian Forest Foreign Service, continues the very foundation of the steel frame of India's executive structure. As envisioned by the founding fathers of nation, all India services <coughs> play my dear roles. In a pluralistic, multi-party democratic structure of ours, you have a particularly difficult task ahead. You have to perform the onerous task of steadfastly adhering to the principles of dharma or righteousness while being armed with the visible power of the state which you should use only when it is absolutely required. Secondly, by being posted to various states other than your home state, you also act as a common thread binding the diversity of culture, religion and languages, promoting national integrity, you provide the leadership of the police forces for protecting life, properties, and rights of our citizen, which are fundamental rights as enshrined in our constitution. At the same time, you are to secure the society from threats to internal security and disturbance. Each Indian should feel secured and protected and the responsibility for ensuring that sense of security largely lies on you because you will be leading the police forces. Having been created as a force during the colonial years just to maintain <coughs> law and order, your service has to evolve new ethos based on the goal of service to the common man. You have to play a determinant role in this transformation. I understand that your academy has already adopted the motto of sensitized police for empowered society. 